In this video, we will learn to find integral of cube of sine of x. Let i be equal to integration of cube of sine of x with respect to x. As cube of sine of x can be expressed as square of sine of x into sine of x, so i is equal to integration of square of sine of x into sine of x with respect to x. As per the famous trigonometry identity, square of sine of x is equal to 1 minus square of cosine of x. So, i is equal to integration of 1 minus square of cosine of x into sine of x with respect to x. Expanded the above expression, we got i is equal to integration of sine of x minus square of cosine of x into sine of x with respect to x. Application of linearity property of integration gave us i is equal to integration of sine of x with respect to x minus integration of square of cosine of x into sine of x with respect to x. Let's denote the integration square of cosine of x into sine of x with respect to x by i1. Integration of sine of x is minus cosine of x. So i is equal to minus cosine of x minus i1. Now let's solve i1. i1 is equal to integration of square of cosine of x into sine of x with respect to x. To simplify this integration, let's apply the substitution method. I have assumed u is equal to cosine of x. Taking the differential of both sides, we get differentiation of u with respect to u into differential of u is equal to differentiation of cosine of x with respect to x into differential of x. As we know, differentiation of u with respect to u is equal to 1 and differentiation of cosine of x with respect to x is equal to minus of sine of x. So, we are left with differential of u is equal to minus sine of x into differential of x. Taking minus to the left, we get minus of differential of u is equal to sine of x into differential of x. Substituted cosine of x into integration i1 by our assumed value. Now the integration i1 has become integration of square of u into sine of x into differential of x. As sine of x into differential of x is equal to minus of differential of u, so substituted sine of x into differential of x with minus of differential of u, we got i1 is equal to integration of square of u into minus of differential of u. Taking minus out, we got i1 is equal to minus of integration of square of u with respect to u. As integration of square of u with respect to u is equal to u to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that is cube of u divided by 3. So i1 is equal to minus of cube of u divided by 3. We had solved the integration in terms of u. Now we needed to take back the expression in terms of x. For that I have replaced u by cosine of x which we had assumed earlier. So integration i1 which is the integral of square of cosine of x into sine of x is equal to minus of cube of cosine of x divided by 3. Now here I have plugged the value of i1 into integral i. So i the integration of cube of sine of x is equal to minus of cosine of x minus of minus of cube of cosine of x divided by 3. So expanding the bracket the integral i the integration of cube of sine of x is equal to minus cosine of x plus cube of cosine of x divided by 3. Then added capital C which is the arbitrary constant of indefinite integral. Do not forget to add this constant in the end of any indefinite integration. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please press the like button if you like this video. 
to view latest videos do not forget to press the subscribe button and to click the bell icon for notification of the latest video. You are most welcome to express yourself about this video in the comment section or if you want me to develop a video on any other topic. Thank you.